Hi there, it's Stephanie Nelson from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns. Today we have a video tutorial of how to make an art yarn using a rainbow glitz bat. This is a different way to use your rainbow glitz art yarn bat that we made. You're going to tear it off into chunks the same way that we did with the other video. What you want to make sure is that the strips of bat that you have torn off are not too thin because we're going to be spinning this yarn a bit thicker and if you keep the strips if you keep the strips thin then it'll be difficult you won't be able to spin as thick so we just take it pull it into strips it's okay if the strips get messy that's all right so we have our spinning wheel all set up. We're still using the Ashford Kiwi Super Flyer. Join on your yarn. Get your hands warmed up. My leader line is a little short here, so it's going to give me some grief. Once your hands are warmed up, what you want to do is you want to start spinning your yarn a little bit thicker. This yarn, we don't, what we want is we want the yarn to be spun with thicker sections and thinner sections. We don't want this, the sections to be all the same a diameter. What you'll notice is if you're used to spinning a traditional yarn, this yarn will, your hands will feel different. You may not feel as in control of the fiber or the drafting as you're spinning. When you challenge yourself to spin different types of yarn, you grow as a spinner. And when you spin with different types of fibers, it's the exact same thing. You grow as a spinner. You learn a lot about yourself and you learn a lot about your wheel as well. This is an excellent yarn to spin if you're a beginner and you are already spinning yarn that is thick and thin. If you haven't been able to spin a traditional single yet, this is a great yarn. Something fun to break away from the, break away from the challenge of spinning a traditional yarn when you're just learning. And this is something that'll help you boost your confidence a bit. There's so many different ways to spin. There's so many different ways to do this. Spinning is a craft, yet it's also an art. And I always encourage people, just try it out. Try something new. Break the rules. If you find something, um, if you break the rules and you find something, you may find something that nobody new before in spinning. You may find an amazing new technique or a different style, a different way to spin yarn. We're using a simple polyester thread to ply our yarn and to put the spirals into our yarn. The way that I'm holding the yarn isn't necessary. There's many different ways to hold your yarn when you're plying. At this point, you've probably noticed the squeak in my spinning wheel. So proper spinning wheel maintenance. Normally you wanna check your spinning wheel before you start spinning and after you're done spinning. You wanna keep it clean, you wanna keep it well oiled. And the way that I handle my spinning wheel is I ask a lot out of it. So just watching this video, you can see that there's a bit of movement in the top of my spinning wheel. So make sure your spinning wheel is tightened down. Don't spin. Uh, don't treat your spinning wheel the way I do. I'm pretty rough on my spinning wheel. And uh, be nice to your spinning wheel if you can. Otherwise, you'll end up with my spinning wheel, which is totally unique to me. And I'm pretty sure if other people sat at my spinning wheel, they'd be like, what did you do? But that's just Bob, my spinning wheel. So when you're plying this yarn, it's pretty fun just to watch 
and make a, it's almost like a unicorn horn spiral yarn. I, I really like it. Let's slow it down a little bit so we can take a better look. Using the super flyer, there's a lot of movement when you're plying. There's a lot of movement in the strand of the yarn. And obviously when you're plying, you can see that the first strand of yarn that we spun actually untwists a little bit. And this is why it's important if you know you're going to ply to make sure you do have enough twist in it. And it's not necessary to totally overspin your yarn, but just make sure there's enough. Let's speed it up a little bit here. Well, that's kind of hard to see. But it gives you an idea of the consistency of where I'm putting the thick parts in and where I'm putting the thin parts in. What you can see is there's absolutely no rhyme or reason for the thick or thin parts. It's just wherever it feels, wherever I felt like putting in a thick or a thin part, and it makes the yarn absolutely beautiful. So I would consider this yarn an art yarn. Most people would consider this yarn an art yarn. It would be difficult to say whether it was uh, bulky, super bulky, worsted weight. The weight of the yarn is many different weights. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. Comment below.